this is this is a Hunter Herald 8, right? So I have broken glass. The ropes need the seals, the gasket seals, and the rope needs to be replaced, guys. And that's that's what I'm gonna be at today, okay? I'm gonna zoom you out a bit. Yeah, so that's what I need to do. First thing I need to do is I need to finish my coffee, then I need to clean it, then I need to get the doors off, then we need to get cracking. Now, let's get these doors off. Guys, I'm not really sure how to do this. I'm sort of winging this bit, okay? So, this is the broken piece of glass. And there's the gasket. I'm just gonna put that off this. Ah, I see. I see what happens, guys. So look, basically I was looking online to figure out how to do this, right? And what I discovered was that, let me see you guys get in there. What I discovered, guys, is that you just basically, you just basically wiggle the door back and forward while pulling these out, while pop popping these out, okay? So it just sort of loosens as you move back and forward, okay? Move up, pinch it, move it back and forward, and out it comes. And that's the two for that. And that's out. Okay, and I'm just going to do the same on the other side, guys. Okay, so. So what I did was, guys, I was I was I was looking around and I was trying to find all this all these different parts and stuff and uh I just in, in the end I just ordered everything directly from Hunter themselves guys and it, it was fairly it was fairly straightforward uh, and everything just arrived today so what I have here guys is I have the replacement glass and and the and the gaskets which is which is this bit here and uh a load of packaging. I'm going to put this sitting up on the table here. And I have the rope kit, which is this, and extra gaskets. So I have two gaskets, two sets of gaskets. They are definitely gaskets as well, guys. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to just going to take the glass out. I'm going to remove all the rope and stuff like that and uh, it basically gives you everything here and, and probably instructions on how to do it as well. Okay. Guys, and you can see this rope is all, this rope here is all, is all frayed and it's all wrecked guys, so I'm just going to remove all that. We'll get this started. Okay. Right. Okay. So, I'm going to get rid of this glass guys first. Okay, so what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm gonna give this whole thing a good clean with a wire brush because 
I really feel like it needs it. So, uh, possibly should have, should have been something I started with, but I'm not doing that inside yet. Or am I? No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it inside. Okay, so, that's clean for the most part, and what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm just gonna strip this one off as well. Okay, okay, right. Of course, turned into a siege as per woolly style. I, uh, <laughs> I, can't, I couldn't find me, uh, my, my wire brush. I guess I couldn't find my wire brush. Okay, so I cleaned everything off. Uh, there was there was quite a bit to come off on some of these guys uh, for, of of this old this old glue. And this is our this is our fiberglass rope. Okay, so I actually have three different sizes here because this this thing takes three different sizes. I'm assuming these are going to be cut to length as well, which would be fantastic. So that one goes there. This one goes here. That one goes there, that one goes there, and this one goes all the way down here, I assume. I assume, I assume, I assume. So, what that means, guys, is that this one, can you see that okay? This one is going to sit like this, then like that, and it's gonna go all the way around. To here. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Okay. I do have instructions somewhere. Leave the drive for at least four hours.
Okay. I'm hoping this is okay. I'm hoping this is okay, guys. This this just turned out to be a little bit more fiddly than I expected, to tell you the truth. Uh, and here is why. Uh, I bought a, I bought a kit for the for this actual stove, and it doesn't seem to fit. So I've cut the rope here. And I'm going to have to cut it again here, guys. And it re I really thought that. By buying a kit for the rope, for, for that stove, it should fit. So, blah, it doesn't. And also, also, these are my window gaskets here, guys. Okay, so I have some leftover glue. These, these are my window gaskets here, right? But. I also have these things. What the hell are these for? Okay. But this is, these are my window gas. And this is the same as, as what I took out of it. This is, this is the thing. So brand new glass, brand new glass guys. Brand new glass. Oh yeah. Check that out. Brand new glass, it's so clean, it looks like there's no glass. So as per usual guys, I am completely winging this, right? So what I don't know is, do I, do I put this back on and close it all up to, to sort of let everything squeeze into place, I suppose, and, and to set, or, or do I just let it sit like this? I don't know, uh, you know, so look, look here, we have, see the way the, the rope is sort of bulging out, guys, I'll, I'll zoom this in and, and show you, so I have three here to put on, and what I'm going to do with these guys is, I'm going to, I'm going to hand tighten these, I don't want to break this really expensive glass, There's no driving stuff home with the impact driver here, guys. <laughs> so I really want to take it easy at this stage. Imagine, 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 imagine cracking the glass. Okay, so this is a job that definitely has taken way longer than I thought, okay? So, a couple of confusing points, guys. What what are these for? What What is the point of these? Uh, are, they, are they supposed to protect the glass? You know, in, in shipping? Uh, okay. I'll put them back in the box and we hold on to them as we will with the leftover glue, guys. The glue was a bit of a disaster as well, but uh, I'm hoping that everything is going to be okay. Now what I need to do is, I need to go and have a wee look online, guys, and see if, uh, if I did all that right. I'm hoping I did, guys, I'm hoping I did. I'm hoping everything is okay, you know. Okay, right, okay. No, 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 no. Right guys, well, that's it, hopefully. <laughs> and that is, uh, and that's, that's, that's her all sorted. That's all the TLC she needs probably for another five, good five years anyway. So, uh, and I'm hoping I've done that right, guys. It just, hey, listen, it, it wasn't a very difficult thing to do, but it was just a little bit. I'm just 
turn that light down a bit. It, it was just a little bit confusing at times, guys. And it really, yeah, it, it just was a little bit confusing. And you know, I, I did do it before on, on my auntie still, but and I do, rem I, I do, I don't remember being this, this, this tricky or, or confusing. I do remember being very, very straightforward. Leave to drive for at least four hours. Four hours. Re then refit the doors to the stove. You need may need to adjust the door catch as shown to ensure a good seal when shut. Okay. Okay, grand job. Oh yeah. Please wear gloves. <laughs> guys, 100 percent Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty. We're gonna leave this. Hopefully the next scene you see will be a beautiful fire. Stay frosty.